Hello, welcome to the channel. To all the new subscribers, thank you and welcome. Okay, we got the Mopars. They're so pretty. I love, I love both of them. They're just different and unique. But today we're going to play which car does which key start? So let's try this one first. Let's see which remote start we get. You might get a charger, might get the challenger. Let's see. Charger. Let's start the Challenger and hear the difference. It's a lot quieter. I didn't really realize that until I did it side by side. Mine's definitely quieter. But it's also cooler. Look at that. I, I love the way my car looks. It looks way cooler than David's. So I got in the car and I was going to show you the MPG and some other stuff and I noticed that my screen is on coolant temp, which I did not put it on. This is what happens when you let other people drive your car. They mess with your settings. But anyways, we are at 9 MPG with a range of 68 miles. It was at 7, but David drove us to breakfast this morning. That was on the freeway, so it went up. We got just over a quarter tank so we definitely burned through that 87 fuel which was a mistake so hopefully after i fix this gas situation then i can really start to have some more fun with my car the break-in period they said was about 500 miles should meet that this week okay let's put this screen back on something i want it on what do we got here reaction time my adaptive cruise control blue fuel economy i have it up in the corner i don't really need it trip info i like that big speedometer you know what we're gonna stick with a big speedometer for the moment back here at our trusted sam's club getting gas look unleaded 260 premium 306 premium look we will get this time i will get premium this time there's the elusive gas cap So we're gonna take this. Okay, ready? 93. Bam. Okay. Oh, look at that. So much more expensive for premium, but it's worth it. My car will run right. of people have commented on David getting Sam's Club gas. That is the gas that we get the majority of the time. When we lived in California and even when we first moved here to Texas, we got gas everywhere. Never noticed a difference in our performance, in our MPGs, nothing. So we stick with Sam's Club where it's cheaper, it's close to us, it's convenient, and then we go shopping afterwards. So it just makes the most sense for us to get Sam's Club gas. And I did put 93 in. So when we compare that, I put in 12.6 gallons. Last time it was 13.7. I just about filled up the same amount with 93. Obviously there's gonna be some 87 left, but mixing around together, I think we're gonna be at about 91, which is what the car requires. And I didn't get on it too hard this whole week. So I think we're gonna be good now. So in the slightly under a week that I've owned this car, I've done two very stupid things. I put, 
I pick up, sorry. I put 89 gas, 87, 87 gas into my car. I think it was 87. Okay. I, I put the wrong gas in my car last weekend. That is now corrected. And then if you watched David's video, you saw that I left the car running on accident. It wasn't actually running. It was just on accessory, but left that on on accident. Two things I will be fixing. I have figured out how to lock my car. It was just me being silly. I'm really getting a good grip for the car now. I hope not to make too many more stupid mistakes, but it's bound to happen. I'm learning a new car and the gas was really, really stupid. So that would, I just wasn't even thinking. I have put regular gas into my car for the past six years. I don't think I've ever owned a car, maybe the Corvette that needed premium. So I'm just not used to putting premium in a car and didn't even think about it. Just put the regular gas in. But I won't make that mistake again. Overall, this is a great, <laughs> this is a great car for me. I'll do a video coming up of the kids getting in and out of the car on their own and what supports I, what supports I have to provide for them. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.